Hello, and welcome to another episode of Are You Worth Your Points, Cost, and Take Crewman. Today we are doing the sniper. He costs 160 points, yeah, and uh, he comes with this sniper rifle. Go figure. Um, sniper is an extremely effective anti-infantry tool and an extremely effective scouting tool. You'll notice if you direct control him, you can see not only does he have a nice cone of view, but he, he can sort of spot into areas of the fog of war with this little circle. Uh, he'll do that even if you're not direct controlling him. So he's a fantastic scout if you put him on hold fire, and if you don't put him on hold fire, bam, he kills people. And uh, so that's pretty fantastic. Um, there's nothing like a sniper for picking away at your opponent's defensive position uh, with infantry. He also comes with a bush, which I am going to fail to left. plant like six times in a row because I was recording this video and I haven't planted in a bush forever because there's so many bushes around in Men of War that typically you don't have to plant your own. It's also kind of weird that he can just plant a magical bush that uh, grows into a larger bush, but whatever. Um, that's one of the things the sniper comes with. He gets three of those bushes. Um, and I guess that's a nice way to get some cover as long as your opponent does not notice uh, a magical bush springing up, because if they notice, then you're kind of fucked, right? Uh, he also comes with this uh, little grenade that he can throw, gives a signal for an ammo drop to come down. We'll talk about that later when the ammo drop finally does come down. And he also comes with a knife. The knife is pretty sweet. It's a nice stealthy way to kill people, and I do mean kill people. Boom! One hit kill right to the face. And the best part, you can hold down C to highlight items, and when you're done, pick up the knife. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Don't waste resources. Um, you're going to have to wash the blood off, though, otherwise it's kind of gross. Here's the crate. Um, not very useful for a sniper. It comes with rifle ammo, but also a shit ton of other ammo. But uh, nice to do that. I guess whenever you buy a sniper, you can just drop the crate immediately if you, you want. And then you always have some stuff at spawn. It's a good idea to pick up some more rifle ammo for your sniper. Because if you do a good job keeping him alive, move him quite a bit. Um, he might start running out. So the thing is, the sniper, in addition to other people, can climb trees. If you hover over a tree and you see this little enter sign, that means you can climb up it. So you just click on the tree and he climbs up. Uh, some trees don't have it. You have your mouse over it, you don't see it. I loaded like six maps before I found a fucking map with a tree you could climb. So um, don't beat yourself up if you can't find a tree. The tree is nice because it gives you a good overwatch and uh, I think it increases your sight range a bit too. So it's a nice place to spark park your sniper. You just have to hope he doesn't get hit. So is he worth the... Um, God, 20, 32 tank crewmen you can buy for the price? Well, I don't know. I mean, if you take a look, uh, if you wait for the sniper's sort of um, orange thing to fill up when he's aiming, this orange sort of crosshair fills up and then a dot appears in the middle, and typically when you uh, fire, that's basically a 100% hit chance. I'm missing here because it's kind of a weird angle. Um, he's pretty sweet. He picks up some people, like, incredibly well, so it's going to be tough to take him out unless you get bum-rushed by a lot of infantry because he does have a very slow firing speed. Um, and even though he's going to take out infantry extremely effectively, he just can't take everybody out. He's going to have to bolt the rifle each time, and then he's going to have to reload after five shots. So you got to be careful with your sniper. Defend him from rushes, either from masses of tank crewmen or from other infantry and stuff. So is he worth his points cost? Well, yes, if you can keep him alive. And keeping him alive is really the most important part of a sniper, because he's no use to you dead. And if you're just going to use him to pick off like five or six people, he's probably not worth buying. So really, uh, practice defensive tactics with your sniper. Keep him moving, keep him hit him, keep him 